Welcome back to Fallout 4. We need to finish taking out the raiders in the Corveca assembly plant here, since they've been harassing the settlement. So let's get back on that. But just want to catch you up on some things I did before recording. Uh, I dumped some of my stuff around me, as you can see on the ground, to free up some weight so I can finally run again. I also put on some, like, leather arm pads, as you can see. They look a little bit strange over my dress, but they do give me more armor, along with the construction hat or whatever I have on. Also a little bit of resistance. Also, I kind of totally forgot that a long time ago, we got this hollow tape from our husband. I probably should have played that like three hours ago, but hey, better late than never, right? So I do need to watch out what I take. I'll take crafting components and really important stuff, but I think one of the big things I'm going to avoid taking is armor. Because everybody's got armor and it's really heavy. Nothing there now. Raiders down below, they kind of hear me stepping around. I shot a bunch of people down here on the ground from up there. So let's go ahead and loot their bodies. The raider should be around here somewhere, pretty close by. I don't know where, though. Let's head back inside. Hello. Ah! You just teleported. Lame. Stop moving. Oh god, stop shooting dog meat. Thank you. 
Oh, there you are. There's five more showing on the compass. But I'm not taking any more shots, so I think I'm okay for now. Let's load up a grenade. Because there's lots of groups of enemies here, so I think it might be a good place to use them. Dog meat, get out of the fucking way! Jesus! Shove some food in our mouths. Crispy squirrel bits. Mmm. Crispy. Squirrely. the upper floor before we go down. Oh, I've already been over there. That's where I went up the ladder. Yeah. Okay. Let's go down. Cooling caps. Uh, I guess that's probably crafting ingredients, right? I'll take them. Whatever you say, boss. So, what did they assemble here? This is an assembly plant. Maybe cars. I'll just take the stairs. Oh. Looks like there's the basement, too. Whoa. I thought it was just a really bright room. No, it's just a room that didn't load. That's so drippy. Whoa. Something I noticed, by the way, let me just exit this interface. Um, when you're doing the bats thing, I've noticed that when you're actually taking the shot, it says press spacebar to critical hit or something, like execute critical. I never realized that was even the thing, and I don't know what it really means, so let's give it a shot. So let's try to shoot him in the torso, and once I'm actually making the shot, let's press space. Uh, I guess that worked. I guess it did. Is it like a chance to work? Is it guaranteed to work? Because it looks like there's a crit bar that I used up by doing that or something. Whoa! Poor 
dog meat. that way oh hi you are creepy as hell much better thankfully that didn't do anything yeah they must have assembled cars here Look at that beautiful model on display. Their finest work. down before we go up. So I think the crit bar actually refills when you kill enemies. That's what I'm thinking. Because it was still pretty low, so I don't think it re resets with time. I think it resets with kills. You probably build it up and then unleash it upon somebody. or something. Plate might be a crafting ingredient. Oh, I'm overweight again, Tam. Support our troops, buy war bonds today. Ah! Well, let's dump some crap and also level up. Probably should get rid of, like, seven raider leathers. That's kind of insane. Hmm. Better. Alright, I 
I wish I put my skill point in. I'm thinking something in agility. Agility or perception? No, I've already got three skill points in perception. Maybe something here. That, or maybe I want to actually upgrade intelligence to level three. Because then I would be able to get Gun Nut. Shoot first, kill first with access to base level and rank one gun mods. I do want to be able to do gun mods, so you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to upgrade intelligence. Yeah, that sounds good. goes even deeper. Let's go deeper. Noise traps. Lonnie's terminal. Who's Lonnie? Lexington. Lexington is ours. Fuck yeah. Wiped out the ghoul swarm without losing anybody. Jared is setting us up in the big car factory for now. So they took over all of Lexington. This entire town. That explains why I've just seen them everywhere. Apartment. Swept through town again today. Gristel and I each took teams and flushed some of the ghoul stragglers out of a block of apartments. Already got my eye on a nice one at the top of the building. Been wanting a place with a view for a while now. Need another turret. I've asked Jared for another turret down here. He says he's working on it, but ain't convinced he ain't just blowing me off so he can get back to playing with his chems. We need another turret. This pipe access into Lexington has been great for us so far. But if we don't defend it properly, it might as well be an open invitation for anyone looking to get in. Drinking party. Grizzle and the boys almost got us killed the other day drinking down here, making all sorts of noises. A bunch of ghouls didn't want to miss the party and stumbled in through the pipe. Luckily the boys can hold their liquor and were able to still shoot straight. Jared. Still haven't gotten our other turret down here. Jared needs to get his head out of his ass. He's been pouring way too much time and caps into trying to figure out this site thing, when what we need to be doing is securing this place. I'm going to go talk to him. Crystal says I'm just going to make him mad, but someone has to make him see reason. What is this site thing? Because that's the same thing the, old, the older woman said that she had. The one that said... that... The main character's, uh, Nelavanda's son is, is still alive. She said she had the sight, and then I think the chems were used to kind of help her see. Is it actually a thing, though? Like, is it a real thing? Or is it just kind of an excuse for the stuff you see when you're taking lots of drugs? That's it.
come on. There we go. That's surprisingly hard to do. Whoa, hey. Oh, when did I actually get a flashlight? Before it was just like a general green glow. Now I actually have a directional flashlight? When did that happen? Is it... Oh, is it because of my hat? Oh my god, it's because of my hat. It's got a light on it. Whoa, that's cool. What am I wearing again? Does it actually mention that it even has that? Mining helmet. Current mods, mining headlamp. Oh, so it's a mod. That's so cool. It's awesome. It's so much better than the green glow, too. More directional, longer range, more pleasant. Oh, this is actually going to the outside world. Cool. Huh? Someone just heard us. I'm gonna run back inside. <laughs> what the fuck was- what? What just happened? Are you okay, Dogmeat? Okay, good. Dogmeat's still alive. I think we just got, like, nuked or something. What the fuck was that? I'm not going back out there. Okay, so we need to go up now, don't we? I've already been in here, right? I think so. Yeah, we need to go up more. Could go up the elevator, but let's take the stairs. Yeah, looks like this is where the elevator goes. Going up. Main just, assembly line. Just the top floor. I don't know. Is that the only one here? Oh no, there's more. Report your success to settlers at Ten Pines Bluff. Oh, that's all the raiders, I guess. Although the compass still... No, there's more raiders. Maybe that's just like the leader or something, I don't know. There's definitely more raiders, though. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Oh shit. Dog meat. I don't know what just blew up, but don't question it.
bastard. Stop tracking me. Where's his light coming from? I don't actually know how to get up there. low on health. Let's shove some food in our mouth. Yeah, how do you actually get up there? Mm. Maybe if I sprint I can jump the gap. There's a button. Corvega safe key. I need to find the safe. Jared's terminal. Huh? huh? There's someone down below. Oh. oh Skeleton. Just broke his bones. Bingo. Critical hits with unarmed melee attacks permanently do plus five percent damage. Not really gonna matter for me, but it doesn't hurt. See what Jared has to say. Setting up shop. Gunfire is finally quieted down. Suppose that means either Lonnie and Gristle wiped up the last of the ghouls, or they're currently serving as someone's meal. But now Lexington is secure. I can finally get to work. Stumped. Nothing is working. The old woman. She used to just huff some jet, pop some pills, then she started babbling, spouting vision after vision. And they all turned out true. The raiders burning the town, killing the parents, stealing the kids, stealing me. I remember the look in her eyes when she saw my fate. Kid, you're gonna be a monster. All true. If I could get that sort of power, that sight, the commonwealth, the other gangs, no one would have a prayer. But nothing's working. Maybe I need to try upping the dosages. I'm gonna need another bucket. Subjects. It's not the chems. They're just a trigger for the site. It's me. I'm the problem. Wish I'd realized it before my arms look like pin cushions. But at least it's a new lead. I need subjects. They started experimenting on people? Experiments continue. Still no successes, but the rumor of free chems has brought plenty of new recruits. Ranks are nearly back up to where they were before we cleaned out Lexington. Lonnie thinks it's a waste of time, says we need to spend our time building up our defenses. But Lonnie doesn't make the decisions. I do. 
She does seem to be enjoying her new position, though. Maybe another dose of Psycho will get her visions firing. She's here. Gristle says there's a caravan headed this way. Some joker in a cowboy hat with a laser musket, three civilians, and one frail old woman dressed like a fortune teller. It's her. I know it's her. I send Gristle to collect her. I wonder if she'll recognize me. Of course she will. She saw this coming, after all. So that's why the raiders were going after that gang. Or, I shouldn't say that gang, that group. Because of Jared. Spotlight control. Units connected, three. Please, for the love of God, deactivate them. Thank you. Shutting down. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, I guess it just does it. <laughs> it says shutting down, but then it just never stops and you have to go back. I was waiting for something. System diagnostics. Nothing there. Oh wait, no, there we go. Three spotlights linked. Eh, not important. Turret control. Two units connected. About your defense system. Turret operations should be limited to trained professionals only. Consumer commands are limited to activation slash deactivation of the turrets, hardline to this terminal, blah blah blah, avoid the warranty. Deactivate. And done. Alright, so I've got a key to a safe, and I want to find the safe. Where would it be? I would think it would be, honestly, in one of these buildings here. But apparently not. So if it's not here, then where would it be? I have no idea. Can I activate you? No. Nope. Hmm. Should I just go and finish the quest or should I look for the safe? I do want to find the safe. This wouldn't control anything that I haven't already done. Unless... Maybe it would control the robot. Alright, let's actually get in here. Usual. Likeliness 1. Robes. No. Light. No. Lead. Well, it leads, rather. No. Greed. No. Bonds. No. Areas. That could be it. Nice. Protectron, yeah. Let's open it up. One unit's connected. Uh, choose the personality mode first. Subway steward, law enforcement, fire brigadier. <laughs> uh, what should we go with? Medical responder. Activate it. Powering up. Protectron on duty. I need medical attention. Please remain calm if you are injured. I am calm. Could you please heal me? Please remain calm if you are injured. You're kind of cute. Sort of. 
but it won't heal me. Hmm. All it does is just tell me to remain calm. <gasps> Dog meat! Oh my god. You're adorable. Hmm. Ooh, hatch. Whoa. Let's go down and see what we can see. Uh, dog meat? Lower level. Dog meat! Don't fall! I think we should go back. Oh. Oh. You teleported. Okay, cool. I was gonna go back up and try to get him. Spoopy. This place is decorated as if it's Halloween. Yeah, there's... In fact, there's even plastic pumpkins around. Is that like when the apocalypse happened? Around Halloween? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna look for the safe. And I'll be right back. Okay, I have no idea where the safe is. So I'm just gonna leave. Don't want to spend an eternity in here. Don't feel like becoming one with the skeletons. As much as I like them. It came nighttime while I was in there. Must have spent hours in there. Alright, uh, so I guess we should go back and report that everything's good. There's a million places I could explore here, though. But, no, let's go back and call it a day. And while I'm back in the area, I can go back and plant crops at Sanctuary. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, Jesus, fuck! Where did they come from? They can be awfully fast. Feral ghouls can be terrifyingly fast. Hmm. Is this like a bank? Let's see if we can open this thing up. Security door control. Status locked, open door. Wait, seriously? That easy? That's it? it? It didn't even want a password or anything? Oh. Well. I guess there isn't much to protect. Pre-war money, 100. Oh, that's pretty good. Don't actually know what you do with pre-war money. I think it might be like a crafting component or something. Stacks of money around here, too. Like somebody tried to steal it, but then died. Oh, Jesus! Fuck me, that scared me. These feral ghouls are terrifying. Alright, yeah, let's go back and turn in this quest. I could probably spend like five hours in that place. But let's go back, one thing at a time. Wait a minute. Can't you fast travel? That's right! I forgot you can fast travel.
Wakey, wakey. Hey. You find those raiders? Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. No problem. Are you okay, dog? You seem to have fallen through the floor. Hey. Why don't you go over there? Head over there. Yeah. I think my dog's having a little trouble with the whole phase shifting thing. Still hasn't quite learned how to come out of their dimension, from the, you know, the dog dimension to the human dimension. Poor thing. It'll figure it out. Let's go plant some crops. Looks like we need to talk to Preston as well for some reason. Not quite sure why, but let's do it. Take care of your gun. It'll take care of you. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. So, there's something I need to ask you. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? What was it? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? This guy's voice actor just keeps throwing me off. Sometimes I think he sounds pretty good, and then other times he just sounds straight up bad. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Sure. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen, and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. <laughs> General? <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is... There's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. 
I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. This is pretty cool. I get to lead the Minutemen, men, build them up, and the more... the more settlements I help out, the more places will be able to help me out. Because you help out a settlement, and then I guess if you shoot the flare gun and they're in the vicinity, they can help you. And also when you help out the settlements, you can use their crafting stations and stuff like that. That's cool, so you can build up like a support network. That's awesome. Alright, so we need to plant some crops. I'm gonna go ahead and find a good place to do that, and I'll be right back. What next? Well, I guess figuring out how to get back to living, instead of just surviving. Of course you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. There we go. Just completed the my first settlement quest. <laughs> At least it's not raining. So yeah, I went ahead and planted a bunch of crops. In fact, it looks like Marcy is... Yeah, it looks like she's actually tending to the crops. Good job, Marcy. Bunch of potato plants, some melons, uh, mute fruit. Seems to be growing well. You'd better keep your mouth shut about this place. Can't trust anyone. Okay. I will take that under consideration. Thank you. I just planted these like hours ago. I don't know how they already grew. Uh, but I'm not going to complain. So yeah, I planted some stuff. Um, as part of the quest, I also had to build some defenses. Let me show you the defenses. Sure, let me just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. Had some fun building these. It didn't all turn out perfectly, though. Uh, but, okay, here's, here's where I started. First thing I built was this guard post. So I built this guard post. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Alright. Sure, do I really want to give her drugs? Let's see what happens. What the hell, I'm gonna do it. But then again, it's probably gonna make Preston like me less. Because I'm pretty sure Preston didn't want her to have any more of the drugs. I don't want to piss him off. I'm not gonna do it. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'm old. Even older than you'd think. If the chems are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We'd have never made it this far without the sight. We need it. You need it. It's part of who I am. Looks like my chance of actually succeeding at persuading her to stop is not very good, but let's take it. The sight isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are, or what you can give. It's my decision, kid, not yours. Now lay off for a while, will ya? Alright, fine, fine. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I built this guard post. I built this little flamethrower trap thing. Um, and then I try to it turns out the flamethrower trap thing requires power. So I try to connect it to a generator, but unfortunately the generator needed to be up. Because the, uh, the power line would, was sinking into the bridge. And it looks like if the power line is... runs into any obstruction, you can't actually build it. You can't actually attach the power line. So I needed some way of raising the generator up. At least if I didn't want the generator to just sit on the bridge. Which I didn't. I wanted it somewhere back here. So I built this little platform thing here. Which is impossible. This thing would completely collapse because there's no support beams whatsoever, but I can't figure out how to build support beams, if you even can at all. So, whatever. <laughs> Got some crappy walls. 
Got some more guard posts up here to defend the bridge with. Plop the generator down here. Just got a straight shot to the flamethrower thing. And, as I found out... Let's enter the crafting menu here. As I found out... Let me repair this thing. Basically how this trap works is that it just constantly shoots fire. Until it breaks, I guess. It doesn't last very long. Maybe like 20 or 30 seconds at most. I assumed it would be activated by, like, movement or something. But no, it just, it dumbly fires. It, there's no special circumstance that makes it activate. It just always fires. And then you have to repair it again. So then I realized, oh, I need switches. I need a switch to be able to turn off and on the power. So that we only activate it when somebody is actually attacking. But unfortunately, as you can see here in connectors and switches, I can't actually build any of these connectors or switches. They seem to all require copper, which I'm missing. So in other words, this thing is pretty much useless right now. Because I don't have any copper to build switches with. Oh, and I also assigned a Mama Murphy to the guard post. So she's actually the one that's supposed to defend the town. Which is a terrible idea, but hey, it worked. Game doesn't care if she's a drug-addicted old woman. She'll defend us just fine. Now let's go see if we can get Preston into our party. Because he can be our companion now, right? There's Preston. Hey, pal. Is there something you need? Follow me. Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Don't worry, dog meat. I'll take good care of her. Aw. Dog meat and Preston get along. Send dog meat to... Wait. I don't want to send dog meat anywhere. I don't? Dog meat is going to red... <gasps> what? Oh, I can only have one companion at a time? No! Come back here, dog meat! Stop, stop. Hey, boy. Let's go. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Send Preston Garvey. You can stay at Sanctuary Hills, alright? There. Okay, I want dog meat. If I have to choose between bad voice actor or a dog, I'm taking the dog. Come on, dog meat. Hey. You're with me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Alright, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to... Well, frankly, I don't know. Perhaps help out the settlement that Preston told me about. Or perhaps go back on the main quest. Perhaps just explore randomly. It's an open world game. I'll just have fun and we'll see what happens.